It's a killer arm workout today with Killer Cross. Totally normal. Don't flex or anything. Don't try it. Parking lot, of course it's him. There he is. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good to see you, man. You too. This is gonna be a killer workout. You huh? bet your ass it is. You see what I did there? Yeah, I saw what you did. Jeez. Very coy. I don't know if I'm ready for this. You're not. But that's okay. You're gonna get pumped up. It's a dastic. <laughs> We're gonna start with the most taxing exercise of the day, which is gonna be dips. Are you ready? Let's do it. Am I ready? Okay. You really wanna focus on your tricep controlling this. Nice and controlled on the way down. Oh, that's low. Fire up. Yeah. You're right, it's not just triceps. You feel sure? everything firing, right? Yeah, yeah, everything. You know, you think about it. Are you gonna fill this arm with tattoos now? Never. Never? Never. This is my mother's arm. She's not crazy about tattoos, she tolerates them. So I made a deal with her when I was like 17 or 18 when I started getting tattoos. She was mortified. She's like, I hope you don't do both. And I was like, don't worry about it, it's fine. So you get the left arm, she gets the right arm? Yes. I think the hardest part is the lockout. Yes. Mine's like shaking now. And that. That means you're doing it right. Going to be encouraging everybody to do dips. It's going to be targeting a variety of different areas, a little bit of your shoulders, a little bit of your chest, but quite a bit of your triceps. And uh, the way, there's a million ways to do dips. The way I think we should focus on doing them is making sure that our elbows are down. If you flare your elbows out, you're going to hit more of your chest. Uh, nice and controlled on the way down. You really want to get the negative, and right when you get to that point, when you feel like you got to get back up, fire up with 100%. And by the way, are you in the gym seven days a week? What is I'm training intuitively. You know, I mean, everyone's going to bowl shit you be like, I get up at 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm running outside before everybody else does. I used to do shit like that. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm very, very big on listening to my body. I eat when I'm hungry. I don't force food. Um, and I train more or less when I want to. You gotta rest, you wanna grow, you wanna recover, you don't wanna get injured. All right, so dips first now. We're gonna tricep pull downs. Some people call them tricep extensions with the cable. What I wanna focus on with you on this is Take, take a high grab up here. Don't, don't go low. Yeah. When, you, when you go low, because you have the guards here, yeah. you don't have to hold this as tight. Yeah. You'll get forearm activation, grip strength. Again, a uh, small functionality thing or sport specific for yeah. wrestling. Whenever you grab somebody by the back of the elbow or the wrist, it's having yeah. good grip strength. It applies to all kinds of stuff. So a high grab, and then as you go down, some people, what they do, it just hits a different part of the tricep. They'll flare their hands out like that. You see how the top hand is facing up? Yeah. Instead, what I want to do with you is I want to make sure the hand is down. This uh, way, knuckles towards the floor. But you've got the good horseshoe head. If you go back on the dips, you'll see that there. Why? Yes, you do. And you can build that when it, when, when it comes out this way. Yeah. If you want to hit the back, though, the longest part of the tricep, you want to make sure that the knuckles are basically going into the floor like okay. that. So in amateur wrestling, when they're like right like forward and they're here yeah. and the elbows are in, yeah. if you can get the neck in here, oh, here, gosh. when you know pulling people down like this, oh, they go that way, under the belly, get the back. Yeah. Good. Knuckles towards the floor. Oh, see, yes. See even more. Can, even more. Rotate your wrist down as you get to the bottom. There you go. Boom. Oh. It's all right here. Oh, that's a game changer. See how that's the bottom of the long head. Maybe we should be demonstrating on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a much better demonstration of what's going on here, okay? This is much better. How old were you when you first started lifting? I started lifting weights when I was about 10 years old. You know, it was like these little 10 pound dumbbells in the house. So, you know, I lateral raises up, right rows, they yeah. stand a deadlift with them and stuff like that. The only time I would ever lift weights with these little dumbbells was watching wrestling on TV. So when wrestling would come on, I was little, we had this little TV. <laughs> we had carved out a hole at the top of the wall near the ceiling. We put the TV up there so we looked it up and 
lifting like that and trying to visualize, you know, when I was little to get big like the guys yeah. were on TV. This is proof that lifting weights as a kid doesn't stunt your growth. No. Okay, look at this. I think that was based on a study of things being over their heads. Because if you think about it, with a barbell or loading something across your back as a child, as you are trying Pressing to grow, your spine, right? Yeah. In theory, that makes sense. Sure. If we're just shooting a breeze here, but I never did anything like that. Just lifting weights and stuff like that, uh, free weights, super light, high volume when I was little. You know, I'm 6'4", I didn't have any problem. I mean, maybe I was supposed to be 8'2", I don't know. Maybe I didn't, you know, fuck the whole thing up. Yeah, who knows? I'll usually start my day off with, first thing, a uh, full bottle of water, right. then I'll have my coffee. And I uh, usually have pink Himalayan salt with my coffee. And uh, again, intuitively, if I feel like it, I'll have like, two tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. Um, I love that. Coconut butter, whatever the hell yeah, So a little bit of energy. Yep. Like the fats. Yep. And I feel super focused. Um, I'll listen to some jazz, Miles Davis or something like that. Jazz? Yeah, I get into it like a good, healthy place. My routine is ritualistic when I get up in the morning. I don't let any negativity in. I don't read any social media right when I get up. I don't want to know what's going on in the news, nothing. You're going to find that you are much stronger on this grip versus the last one, we'll just go to 100 That's fine. and squeeze it out. Oh, yeah. We'll start there. Very similar position with your feet, knees bent, so your lower back's out of the equation. Here's where we start, and the final motion is going to be fingers facing towards the body. You're going to want to kill Jeez. the audio on that. It's going to blow over ears. We need to grease out. that. Jeez, do it again. <laughs> Nails on a chalkboard. Go to a V grip. Let's grab a V grip. This one will make a lot less noise. This is gonna be earphone friendly. <laughs> Knuckles down. Oh, wow, you gotta turn your wrist in. Yep. Yeah. If you can, try to retract your scapula back here. Oh, yeah. Chest forward, shoulders back. There you go. That way your elbows oh. are closer to your body. Yeah, yeah. See that? Don't show, don't show everyone my farmer's tan. <laughs> Do you do that thing where you forget what number you're at? Always. And Always. I, I punish myself and, I'll, and I'll, I'll go five numbers below what I thought it was just so I, I don't forget next time. I'm like, eight, nine, eh, maybe that was ten. Oh, no, it's, it's a cardinal sin. <laughs> How long are you going to grow this hair? As long as possible <laughs> until people start thinking you look homeless. <laughs> wow, that's going to be a while then. Because <laughs> it looks like it's, it's very handsome right now. Thank you. Yeah. It's nice having hair again. It's been uh, many years. So, are, we, like, are you going to have like the old school like long wrestler hair? I might. I might do it. We'll see how long I can get this. All right. We're going to do incline tricep extensions with dumbbells. Everything that we've been doing is nice and controlled on the way down. Oh, yeah. Try to keep your elbows in. Don't let your elbows go out. Yeah, yeah. Elbows tight and up. Uh, Pass the head. Almost like it's grazing your ears, and you go slow enough that you don't wind up dropping this on your face, right? Don't they say in wrestling that the money's made here? All up here. Can't ruin that. Nice and controlled, yes, just like that. Oh, yeah. And again, it's going to be the length of the tricep in the back of the arm. Another thing, too, um, always something to remember, your ligaments, and your tendons and your muscles all recover at different speeds. Typically, your muscles recover faster than your ligaments and joints and tendons and stuff like that, which is sometimes why you know people get hurt or injured over training because they'll feel like the muscle you know recovers and they can hit it again and they're right. But you know you just have different nerve endings and your central nervous system doesn't tell you that certain things need to recover at the same rate in the same way. So this is one of these types of things again. You know, not ego lifting yeah. will will get you farther. Sure. He, he said all of that with weights above his head. The whole thing. <laughs> it's impressive. Wow. Don't tell me you don't have four more reps in you. Come on, Chris. Don't tell me it didn't happen. I was there. Jesse Ventura is here? I was doing tricep extensions in the Gulf of Tonkin. I'm a frogman. So are you, Chris. Come on now. We ain't got time to bleach here in the gym. <laughs> It's not about how hard you hit. Yes. It's about how many times you can get hit. And keep moving forward. <laughs> this is gonna be uh this is gonna be a training session where we try really hard not to get hurt. Alright, so what's next here? We're gonna do diamond push-ups. Again, sports-based, functional-based. 
um, for having to get somebody away from you. You know what I mean? It's the strongest she'll be with the push is gonna be when everything is on the inside. All wrestling, you always want to be on the inside. Exactly. Yeah, I was fighting for the inside. I was a high school wrestler. So you get it. Not a very good one, but I was a high school wrestler. But you understand. Yeah. You were sandbagging when I was trying to talk to you about the snack guns. You knew exactly I what I was going to say. You gotta watch this guy. I wanted you to explain it for everybody else. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I just get tired. Oh, he knows! Look at that! Yeah. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Wow. Now we gotta have uh, an inferno match. You realize that, right? Oh, yes! And this is where I feel good. Elbows are not exactly flaring totally out, but kind of like in the middle. Right about there. Yeah. Push. Because everybody's thinking it. Bang! Yeah, I'll take it. And then elbows are in? Not almost towards your core, not out here, but somewhere in the middle. Oh. There you go. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like you gotta find it, right? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Since we're in here, can you uh, do something to this? What are you gonna say? Kit? Yeah, see the kit. My tries are fried. Good. And now it's biceps. We're on to biceps. We've knocked them out. Um, this is a bit of a variation of something Kevin Raylan would show me back in the day, the late Kevin Raylan. Yeah. So essentially, the next four exercises we're going to do are going to be with these dumbbells right here, and we're going to change the rotation of how the uh, arm and wrist is going to be uh, coming up and the flexion and all that stuff. Okay, so what does it start with? We're going to start with hammer curls, okay. very, hammer very basic. Right. Let's go anywhere between 8 and 12. Okay. we got five sets. All the way up. Oh. So you see how the top of the dumbbell touches the shoulder? Yeah, and like you can read it in the mirror. That's right. Yeah. There's a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with this, it's just different, that will go to here. Yeah. That's gonna hit the low end. You can hit the whole thing coming all oh, the way up. Yeah. I remember after our first interview, I saw you at like a convention a month or two later, and I was like, how do I get arms like you? <laughs> and here we are answering that question, but your answer at the time was basically like, things to really like extend the muscle out. Yes. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Yep. And the smartest part about this too is, I know you can lift more than 35, I can lift more than 35, but when you're elongating the muscle at the tail end like this and it's under exhaustion, it's Ooh. like, you, you might blow something. So there's no point. The good thing about this exercise, the fact that we're using the same weights for all of this, yep. people that are watching this can do this at home. That's right. You, you don't need a gym for this. Nope. It's such a different movement. Oh, yeah. It's getting it from what we did earlier. Yep. If you run into that issue with cramping and stuff like that, electrolytes, pink Himalayan salt, if you have potassium tabs or like cacao uh, has naturally reoccurring uh, magnesium and potassium in it, you can have that as a supplement. I like numb tabs. I want to get you pumped up, Chris. Come on. Don't bullshit me. It's the diet. <laughs> when I worked out with EC3, uh, he knew we were going to work out. Oh. And he goes, when you're talking to Cross, close your eyes and you'll hear Vince Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I've heard that before. You motorboat son of a bitch. <laughs> so the next, the next uh, dumbbell curl we're going to do it's more of a standard bicep curl, fingers facing you and up like that. I think you can do elbows back, bend your knees a little bit. Uh, there you go. And if you want, you can lean forward a bit. If you, there you go. And you go both at the same time. I do. A lot of guys go single. I'm not, I'm not opposed to doing single either. Little baby vein. Little, <laughs> little baby vein. I heard the vein whispering to me, why are you doing this to me? There it is. There it is. These pythons are gonna run wild on you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Next curl is gonna be quarter turns. Essentially, we're starting with a hammer curl position. And as we come up, we're gonna turn the dumbbells into us like this. Mm -hmm. Multifunctional, hits different parts of the yeah. bicep. Yeah. And I try to bring them in on the inside. I see that. Some people will take them all the way out here. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. However, if we're trying to hit different lanes of the arm, bring them. Once you learn the meat and potatoes of everything, yeah. and you do it a million times, people start going somewhere else in their head. They start showing up to train to just knock it out. 
which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's better than not doing anything. Yeah. But just where your hands are going and where you're twisting and shoulder placement and stuff, it helps me focus into the exercise, paying attention to those little things. Yeah. Because let's face it, we've all done it. You and me, everybody's done it. We show up and we just move shit and go home. Yeah. You want to get the most out of this because if you're training hard, it's always missing. We're moving on to my favorite. Number four. Jeez. Up the middle, oh, this yeah. way. You see what I'm talking about now? Back this way. And try to hold it at that sticking point. It might not seem like I'm holding it very long at the top just because I'm burned out, but as long as you can keep it there, even if it's just for half a second, one second. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. Yep. Who for you was the body guy growing up? Of everybody, of everything. Yeah. Schwarzenegger. I was huge into uh, DC and Marvel Comics as a kid. Um, but in terms of wrestling, I mean, probably Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. You know? What a physique. <laughs> Last exercise. Uh, so basically, we're going to do 21s with the barbell. That's going to be three different ranges. We're going to start very low. We're coming up to here and coming back down. Then we're gonna do full range. And then for the last uh, movement, we're gonna go one foot forward and one foot back. That way we don't have to use our lower back. Yeah. We're gonna start from the top and we're gonna come down to here. <laughs> for, the, for the next one, yeah. we're gonna tie into this. We're gonna go over grip and do forearm curls. Okay. Because we gotta isolate our forearms before we go. Okay. And then most importantly, before you do this, you have to take your shirt off with the sport. Wow. Oh, geez. So for this one, man, I like to start with a wide grip. I'll go pinkies to the line, okay. if you have a shot of that, right there, pinkies to the line, and then we're coming up right to here. And give it a hold. <laughs> Scat the back. We're just wrapping out right now. Now, my hands are coming in. Yeah. Pinkies to right about here. We're going all the way up. Full motion. Full motion. Now we're going all the way inside. Man. Foot forward. That way we're not going to rock back and forth. We're going to try to get long. Right to there. Man. That's the killer. Yeah. Get it? Did you get it? Killer? Last one. Over grip. Oh, yeah. Alternate. 9, 10, 11, 12. Easy. Easy, says the giant man over here. I, I think maybe I'll just sacrifice some of the strength by keeping my shirt on. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I know I won't be able to lift as, as heavy. Perfect, just like that. Targeting different areas of the head. Just like that. This is the full range. Full range. That's it. If you can, if you can, fingers up to the top of the shoulder as best you can. Your biceps may be so pumped it's as far as you can get, that's good too. And then it's in, start up high, and then yes, the foot forward, the foot back is important. Now you don't have to worry about your lower back. That's good right there. Bring it up. Good luck. Wow. Hands over. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Four arms. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. There you go. Twist. All the blood was going to my biceps instead of my brain. I understand. Forgot Hold. about that. Go to 12. 11. 12. Oh, that's, that's a good one. one. Good one, right? Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Try to, try to, there you go. Look at that. A little potato in there. A little potato. A potato. Look at this. Shit works. Man, and it's rock hard. Good shit. Good shit. Wow. Very good. So tell me what you think. Oh, my arms, like, I don't know if the skin can continue right now. That was a great, great pump. Good. You believe in what we did? Yeah. Good. Will I be as big as you if I keep doing this? Yes. Dude, thank you for the massive arm pump here. Can we compare here? Yeah. Let's compare. You're a big boy. Ah, come on now. I'm a big boy who's six inches shorter than you. Yeah. Dude. Great like this. this. Thank you. You're well. This is quite the hug. It's a wow. cable grip. This is a cable grip. Okay. And he knows if I put my elbow down ah, like this, now he's been fucking broken. But he gave it to me, so I'm gonna let it go. My pleasure, man.